Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I'm showing you how to basically try out DLCs online for free in single player mode. This is something that not a lot of people know that you can do, and it actually saves you a ton of money in kind of deciding what you want to buy first, what you want to buy in GTA online, rather than just spending all the money in online and then getting something that you're absolutely not going to, going to use basically at all. This is kind of a live commentary. I'm going to be kind of cutting in half halfway through and showing you guys the other half of how you actually do this. So anyway, let's go ahead and zoom in here. As you can check out right here, this is the Vinewood garage basically I am playing as Michael right now you can do this with Trevor or Frank Franklin however I do recommend doing Michael simply because his garage is kind of close to all the different Los Santos customs and everything like that but basically all you want to do is just go ahead and go over to the garage and enter inside of the garage now what this does is every single time you download a DLC even if the DLC came out 10 minutes ago you will not have to buy any of the cars by doing this method as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and enter my garage here's some cars that I just have stored from the street on here you're gonna wait a couple seconds here and then you're gonna be able to select a special vehicles. As you can see, I have all these different DLC vehicles. I have the Alpha, the Gesture, the Turismo, Roosevelt, Paradise, everything that has basically come out. I'm going to go ahead and select the Panto just so I can show you guys just how uh, just how well this works. So basically, this will work for all of your land vehicles. This will work for the Topless Croquette whenever it comes out for the Flight School DLC. So basically, you just go head over to your garage, select it from the special vehicles. And as you can see, I have my Panto here. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit of the dangers of doing this just simply because if you're, if you're really adding it out, you really want to be able to spend as much uh, as much as your money as you can without going over or having to buy any more shark cards and everything I'm gonna show you the only danger of doing this and this also works for uh, for the vehicles that you can fly everything like that the jets I'm gonna show you exactly what to do for those in just a second here but I'm gonna make my way over to Los Santos customs and my little mini panto here which I, I'm kind of sad that more people don't use the panto I'm, I hardly ever see them. I think it's because the supercars are just so much faster it's hard to it's hard to bargain with that but anyway all you want to do is drive them inside of Los Santos customs and as soon as you get in here you can go ahead and repair and the only thing you have to worry about is that these prices are way off of what they should be basically like if you go down to the most expensive stuff like the transmission and the turbo right here this will no normally be like fifty thousand dollars to equip onto a GTA online car and as you can see it's very very cheap for Michael but uh, one thing that you can do with this is that you can actually test out your entire thing you can see what it looks like you can uh, you can pretty much test out the top speed everything like that the only thing you have to worry about is that the prices will differ greatly whenever you whenever you take this into uh, whenever you take this into online if you buy this online the prices will differ a whole lot and obviously the car won't be free itself so I would I would use this just to kind of test out see which cars go, goes the fastest that you uh, you would like to do and let's go ahead and cut over to the vehicle side of it so I can show you guys what exactly to do with that okay so here we are at the airport again I'm using Michael and I'm just using this as an example so basically just say the flex will DLC has come out the hydro cost however much it is I'm gonna do an entire video talking about how much you you should probably need for this entire DLC and it's just just a heads up it's gonna be an expensive one so this is definitely gonna be a trick that you want to try just to try everything out so basically all you need to do is just drive over here again to the airport uh, again I'm using Michael I find that he's the best person to do simply because his garage is kind of in the middle of everywhere but anyway just make your way over to the airport change your stored vehicle and as you can see both of the DLC vehicles that have been planes and stuff are already here already good to go and you can just go ahead and spawn in the new one so obviously whenever the flight school DLC there's going to be a lot of different vehicles that you can actually fly to uh, to kind of put into the game like this so basically I would I would go over here I would decide which ones that you want to get first obviously if the Hydra does in fact come out you're probably going to want the Hydra first something because it's the best or you might want a miljet if you play with your crew a lot so you can fit all 16 people in it basically whatever you want to do and this is definitely going to be a top-notch tip here for you guys who are going to be uh, who are going to be playing a lot and want to want to spend your money wisely so uh, basically this was just a little video wrapping it up and kind of telling you guys how to how to basically get things for free in GTA and then uh, whatever you want to buy you can get them in the GTA online but this is a trick that not a lot of people knew everyone was like how do you have so much money that you just like, are able to show us everything all at once do you buy shark cards a whole bunch no most of the time I just do it in single player and then bring it over to online for the vehicles that I actually want to keep and then the ones that I don't really care about I don't I don't spend money on online and I can save a whole bunch and uh, figure out what I like first anyway so anyway guys that is going to about wrap up this commentary here if you did enjoy go ahead and leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below what you were most excited for for the flight school DLC if you have no idea what's even coming out for the flight school DLC check out my most recent video I will have some information about that and also a release date video that went up earlier today so I hope you guys enjoyed my name is noj456 and I'll see you in the next one goodbye subscribe to notch